in Packer football coach Vince Lombardi, starring Ernest Borgnine and Colleen Duhurt. <laughs> Lombardi died today. I honestly thought he'd live forever. But he died. 57 years old. They're saying he was much more than a football coach. That he was a legend. A sort of symbol of excellence. But somehow I keep thinking of the time before he was a legend. When he was 45 and considered himself a failure. Excuse me, Mr. Eberling. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Mr. Eberling? Yes. I'm Vince Lombardi. Uh, I called you. I'm an assistant coach with the New York Giants. Oh, well, of course, Mr. Lombardi. <laughs> I guess you haven't gotten over the excitement yet, have you? Well, it's uh, never exciting to lose, you know. Oh, I realize that. But that game, I mean, the first championship game to go into overtime. Right. I'll bet three quarters of the country were watching. I heard President Eisenhower even came in off the golf course to watch. Oh? <laughs> well, uh, what can we do for you? Mr. Lombardi, are you thinking of buying a new home, an investment perhaps? Well, no, not exactly. Uh, no, not that. Uh, well, just exactly what can we do for you? Well, I'm, uh, I guess you could say I'm looking for a job. Working for the bank, Marie, not robbing it. Ooh, the way you put it. But why? You're a football coach. What, was there a mark on my head when I was born saying this one has to be a football coach? All right. Tell me. Tell you what? Stop moping around the room like a wounded moose and tell me what happened. You didn't... I mean... The Giants didn't fire you, Vince. Of course they didn't. You think Wellington Mara is going to fire me? No. But five minutes ago, I didn't think you'd be pretending excitement about being a bank teller either. I'm not pretending, and it's not a bank teller. It's a... Forty-five years old. And I'm an assistant coach. That's all I ever have been. That's all I ever will be. But if you remain with the Giants, Jim Lee won't stay on forever. I thought there was a chance I'd... I'd sweep out the locker rooms for the next 20 years. I'd give anything just to be able to coach the Giants. But it's just not going to happen. All the head coaching jobs are going to younger men. I'm past it. And if I can't be the best at one thing, then I've got to try something else. You understand that, Marie? I guess I understand you. Then you understand that. <laughs> oh. How long do you think you'd last screaming at bank customers the way you do at halfback? Just a minute, please. Somebody from Green Bay. I couldn't understand his name. Oh. Who do you know in Minnesota? Minnesota.
Minnesota. Green Bay's in Wisconsin, what the... Get out of there. Uh, hello? Doesn't Green Bay have a football team? Y yeah, this is Vince Lombardi. <laughs> All over the country think it's crazy for the NFL to have a, a team like this in a small town. But the truth is, the town owns the team. What do you mean by that? Well, there was some talk about moving a long time ago to a big city. But thousands of people bought stock and put up the capital to keep the team here. You see, Wisconsin people are loyal. They really love football, Ben. But that's testing them pretty hard when you win only one game all season. Uh-huh. That's why we have to find the right man who can turn things around. You'll get a decent salary, absolute authority over the football operation, plus what we feel are some very talented young ball players. Right. Some people believe Paul Horning can become a first-rate quarterback in time. Meanwhile, we'll have to go with the... Uh... Ridiculous. What? Horning's no quarterback. He can't throw the ball that well. What he does do is run, block, and kick. <laughs> that man's a halfback, for God's sake. No, that kid Bart Starr, he's your quarterback. Well, we we feel that Starr has promised, but uh, he's so... Yeah, I know how he is. He's timid. Somebody's got to boot him in the rear end and, and tell him how good he can be. And boy, that guy, Nitschke. <laughs> There's a guy in my estimation who can... The executive committee is beginning to get the idea that you want the job. Gentlemen. There's one thing I want more than anything in the world. To coach my team in my town, the Giants. Only that's never gonna happen. So I figure the next best thing is to beat their brains out. Yes, gentlemen, I want this job. Vince, you lived all your life in New York. Green Bay's a little bit different. I can adjust. Fine, what about your family? Huh. Family's all for it. <laughs> so brisk, isn't it? Funny, this, this job means more to me than I can describe to you. And I need all of you with me. Not want, need. I need you there at night. And my head will burst if I have one more thought about football. I need you when we lose. And most of all, to be with me when we win. And if it means that I have to go alone, and I'm not going, it's as simple as that. I thought you hated grandstanding, Vince. What? Very eloquent speech. But dumb, and you know it. You know there isn't a chance in this world that I'd let you stay here. Or go without us. You are an infuriating, lovable woman, Marie Planets. Oh. <laughs> Only in self-defense. Mm. Oh, I love you, love you, love you. <laughs> Benz, huh? tell me. Hmm? Is it as cold as they say in Wisconsin? Well, sure it's cold. Uh, but it's a dry cold. Years a year, then that includes the first year. What the hell kind of question is that? <laughs> How much? 
many games will you win the first season? Will you tell us that? Well, here's something I will tell you. But what I will say is this. I'll put winning above everything else here. Winning is achieved through discipline and dedication. We will win. That's a promise I make to you and to myself. Then a translation would be the Packers will win two games next year. All right, mister. Let me tell you what winning means. It means, and this is all it means, that you're willing to go longer, work harder, and give more than anyone else. If you're smaller, you better be sure you're quicker. If you're slower, you better hit harder. You know why most people don't win? Because they don't want it bad enough to work harder than anybody else. That's why. Well, mister, I'm willing to work harder. And anybody who plays for me is going to work harder, and that's why we're going to win. Now, you put that to use yourself, and you'll be winning Pulitzer Prizes instead of sitting here in a blizzard asking stupid questions. Going on vacation? You probably want to know. All right, gentlemen. Now, you're all rookies, so you all have the same chance. I decided to bring you out here early for one reason. Because once the regular team gets here, I won't have all the time to look at you as carefully as they'd like to. Now, that gives you fellas a bonus. You get a four-day jump on the guy that you're trying to beat out of a job. Make good use of it. All right, Phil, take over for warm-up. You, what are you standing there for? Oh, I... Coach, my name is Max Mc... I'm not asking who you are, McGee. I'm asking, what are you standing there for? What, uh, do you mean, why did I come by? I mean, why aren't you in uniform? That's what I mean. Oh, well, the veterans don't have to report until Friday. I just thought I'd stop by, say hello, watch the rooks work out. If you're here, you work. Either you get your tail on that field or you get your tail out of here, you understand? Dad, get this man some equipment. Right now, Coach. Come on, Max. Come on, let's go. I want you back here in three minutes. He's a damn madman. Maybe so, but I'll tell you one thing, Max. We ain't gonna lose ten games this year. No way. No, sir. He meant it when he said he was prepared to give anything to win. And what he gave most was hell. One thing about him, he didn't play favorites. He treated everybody the same, like dogs. Another thing we began to realize, the man knew football. How incredibly he knew football. And he knew men. Nitschke, for crying out loud, what kind of a play is that? You couldn't cut it at fullback. Don't you know that linebacker's your last stop? If you can't play any better than that, maybe you'd like to try working out in a popcorn stand. That's where you belong. Oh, what are you standing there for? Try it again! And this time, see if you can make me believe that you're not dancing with them. Come on, Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come I had seen some progress until today. Today I saw blocking and tackling that wouldn't keep you in a ball game against a team of elderly nuns. So we're going back to fundamentals. Gentlemen, this is a football. Coach, could you take it a little slower? I didn't say that. the beginning of a kind of crack brain friendship between us. And I think it was the beginning of love. Huh. Uh, uh, 
question.